Hi, guys. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the damage that the rapture train slash legalists have done to everything and everybody. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to share the quote and some of the um, comments. So here we go. The quote is, as you can read it with me, we should probably stop putting people who are prepping for the rapture in charge of anything. So one of the comments to this says, I don't really trust people who are part of a death cult or people who need a God to behave themselves. And in response to that, someone responded, we all need God to behave ourselves. God, not a God. He is the reason we are not all out here trying to destroy others. He encourages empathy. It is not in any of us without him influencing those thoughts in us. I have not needed whoever you think that is in my life for the last 19 years to be a good person. So, no, you don't. And I was a terrible person that I had to teach myself the wrong survival tactics and then unlearn them to be a good person. I have more empathy in my pinky nail than most Christians have even thought about having. So I do know it's in me. I learned and gained my own empathy. I have survived and taken care of myself and stayed in a 19-year marriage without the help of a so-called God. So no, I do not need anything to keep me behaving myself. That's a lie that you can keep telling yourself. Because you're obviously not ready to have this conversation. Thank you. Drive through. Somebody else says, uh, evangelicals don't think life is supposed to be good. They think life on earth is supposed to be a crucible that tests if you are fit for heaven. If evangelicals take over society, the quality of life for everyone is going to steeply decline. Count on it. And then um, there is she, the, the, this person added something else. Um, like, if you think our society is obsessed with punishment now, these people literally think that death for a believer is a merciful release from a world of earthly sin. They think death should be looked forward to. They don't want to improve society. They want apocalypse. So, for, for someone to say, I don't really trust people who are part of a death cult or people who need a God to behave themselves. So, the cynicism here, okay, and... The legalistic response to that cynical comment uh, that says we all need God to behave ourselves. God, not a God. He is the reason we are not all out here trying to destroy others. He encourages empathy. It is not in any of us without him influencing those thoughts in us. And then from that to someone responding that actually... That I have not needed whoever you think that is or, or God in my life for the last 19 years to be a good person. I've been in a 19-year marriage. I've, I've done self-improvements, you know, so you don't need God to be a good person. Well, this person is actually correct. No one needs God to be a good person. Okay. Especially religious Pharisees. They don't need God to be religious. They don't need God to be a good person. That's true. You don't need God to be a good person. Then what do you need God for? Salvation. Because your best efforts are crucified. They, they won't get you into heaven 
And even to live a fulfilling life and to earn points with God, you can't. You can't earn points for something you've already been given. Okay? You can't earn something that, that you were given when you believed the gospel, if you have believed the gospel. Real quick, what is the gospel? Jesus Christ, always having been God, always having been the eternally existing Son of God, came down from heaven, wrapped himself in flesh, was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, died on the cross for your sins and for my sins, was buried to prove that he had died. And on the third day, after being buried, the third day, he rose again from the dead, for your justification and my justification, all right? So for those of us who believed that, we have been buried with him in baptism, okay? We have been raised to newness of life with him in us as the life-giving spirit. What does justification qualify us? It qualifies us to be sons of God. It qualifies us for the inheritance. It qualifies us to have Jesus now, not just for when we die, but now, Regardless of what our circumstances are, regardless of whether we have a roof over our head or not, regardless of whether we're homeless or not, regardless of whether we're a good person or not, regardless of any character flaws, it doesn't matter. If you have believed the gospel, you are justified, sanctified, you are a co-heir with Christ, you are positionally seated with him in heavenly places. It is unconditional. It's an unconditional gift. You can't do anything to make God love you any more. You can't do anything to make God love you any less. If you believed the gospel, what more do you think you need? You've already had the son of God that gave himself for you. What, you think you're, you're going to actually earn points with God? No. Isaiah says that our righteousness is filthy rags. Our best efforts are crucified. So this is what the rapture train and the legalists, this is the damage that these people have done to everybody, believers and non-believers alike. They have totally taken the blood of Jesus. They've redefined justification and they count the blood of Jesus to be an unclean thing. Because they've redefined faith to mean something that it doesn't mean. They've redefined justification to mean for only when you die, but you got to work here while you're on earth, right? And it gives people the impression that we wish for death as an escape because this life is so horrible. What about the Christian, the believers in China and in North Korea who were in prison, who have this, that I've heard, read stories of, their faith, and it's not because of them, it's because of Christ in them. But they have this inexplicable joy. It's not because of their circumstances, it's because of the one who saved them. So our joy is not based on circumstances. We are not to just look forward to death as an escape from life because we have Jesus now. We're to look forward to the life giver. Jesus himself is our life. We have him moment to moment. That's where daily moment by moment renewal comes in. The legalists and the rapture bingo channels have done more damage than words can express.